Hi, hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to change the font in Java. Because right now, if we run our program, our window, then this pops up. This is inside of a custom. This is not inside of a custom font. This is the default Java font, and I don't like it that much, and I want to change it. So there are two ways that you can do it. I'll be showing you both of them today. There's, there may be more, I'm not sure exactly. First, you need to make a new font variable. Font f equals new font. And then even if we import it right now, let's import it. Then you'll see we have an error. Let's see what it is. This is what it needs to be. So inside of these, what we'll put is the name of the font. For this tutorial, I'll be using Consolas. It's the font that I use in Eclipse as well. And then inside of this, we'll put in font.plane. I'm sorry, I'll look for that. Anyway, and this is kind of like an integer inside a font. You could also put in zero or something like that, but I haven't tried that yet, and I don't know if it works. So, uh, yeah, you can, there's many fonts, like font.bold, you can check them out on Eclipse, so I really like it. So, for this, we'll just do font.play. Let's see what the other error is. Oh, we need to see the flow, a flow. And then, how the float is basically how large the font is. So if you go on Microsoft Word, for example, but I'll just show you guys here. So, edit. So you can change the font size. Right now I have it set to 13. And that's pretty much how big the letter is displayed. Anyway, let's just put in... 15. So now if you run it, let's save our resources. Oh no, it still isn't in our custom font. Well, just because we made this variable doesn't mean it's associated with our J label that we want to apply it to. We need to set the J label's font. Since we called the JLabel font test right here, we have to do font test dot set font inside of here. You can type in f, and you can make space for this. Now it's setting the font of our variable to f, and then Java looks back and says f is a new font. That's consolas. It's a plain font and its size is 15. So if you run this now, as you can see, it is in a custom font. Now we'll be covering the other way to do this. Let's get rid of this part. Okay, now that we have gotten rid of all of that, you can just Simply, instead of instantiating a whole class in that, we can just do this. And test dot set font. And then inside of this, we're going to put in this. It's not going to allow us to make a new font variable inside of this, but we can just put, say, new font. So first, I re-import this, and now you see, everything works. That's just like an equal. Oh. So, now that we have done this, we don't need to make a new class, we don't need to instantiate the whole class font inside of one variable up here. So, well actually you kind of do need to make the whole class, you do need to instantiate that font class. 
Well, this is just one way to compact it into a new line, I guess. There's not many advantages to this. Personally, I'd prefer making the variable up here, and then just put an F, because on a bunch of my applications, what I do is I kind of have a theme for fonts. So for everything that's going to be in the body section, I'll keep one font. For example, I'll put in this. And then for the titles, I'll use another font. And oh yeah, you guys get the idea of this. I really do hope this video helped you out. And if it did, or you just enjoyed it, then be sure to leave a like down below in the description. That It really helps out. And be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, guys. It really helps. It really helps. That was redundant. <laughs> anyway, see you guys on, ne on the next video.